are now seeing the effects of the strike by the United Auto Workers Union here in central Indiana. Despite no picketing at any of the local plants, hundreds of auto workers in Kokomo temporarily without a job for the foreseeable future. Stellantis announced today that more than 1,300 UAW employees have been temporarily laid off, including 700 Hoosier workers. Yeah, CBS 4's Michael Vanskoy spoke to experts about how the economic impact of these layoffs extends beyond the plants. Being laid off, they are eligible for unemployment insurance, but that's not much money. Business experts say UAW members at the Kokomo casting and transmission plants won't be the only ones to feel the impact of these temporary layoffs. Experts say the entire Kokomo economy could take a hit. We're looking at a loss in the Kokomo area of almost a million dollars a week lost to that economy. Carol Rogers with the IU Kelly School of Business says this means other local businesses could be impacted. It's going to be noticed uh, by the folks who are there to sell them food, groceries, gasoline, cut their hair. On a much larger scale, experts say the ongoing issue has interrupted supply chains. Car prices were estimated to grow by 2% after a two week strike, but now we're about the fourth week into the to the strike. Um, you know, the average price of a car is about $50,000. So 2% may not seem like a lot, but that adds about an extra $1,000 uh, to, to the price of the car. Mike Lomayich argues inflation is largely to blame for the ongoing strike. While he says there's no predicting how long this one will last, he says it certainly won't be the last. I think we're going to see more of this pop up and, you know, hopefully it's, we're going to be able to take care of this. But it's, I think we're going to see more of this, unfortunately, in the future here. In the meantime, UAW leaders say they're still bargaining hard with Stellantis and General Motors. In Kokomo, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News. We couldn't get in touch with local union reps today. We were told that they were in meetings dealing with the aftermath of this latest set of layoffs. Stellantis did release a statement saying discussions between the company and the UAW are focused on narrowing the gaps on issues that will bring immediate financial gains and job security for our employees while providing a bridge for the sustainability of the company. The company adds it has made progress this week and seeks collaboration from the UAW to reach an agreement.